Right, what's up everyone? We're back at it again. I had to come into work for a couple of hours early today, but that means that we've got the whole afternoon free. Time to do some game hunting. I'm gonna hit a few places I haven't been to in a long time, so hopefully we pick up some games there. Let's just get straight into it and see what we can get. Right, so we're up in Balbriggan. We're gonna hit as many charity shops as we can on the way back down the east coast of Dublin. Try something a little bit different and hopefully pick up a rake of games along the way. So let's jump into the first one and see how we get on. Yes, yeah, so I just had the one game in there in the end. Race Driver Grid, I've never heard of it. It's one I've never played. It's a platinum, but you look for Euro, we'll grab it. I got back into the car and I just had a little search and there's another charity shop just down the road. So I just grabbed a scabby 50 cent worth of parking. So we'll walk down and see if we can get anything in that one as well. River in Dublin without a trolley in the middle of it. Well, that was a waste of a walk. No games in that one. Did get some fancy B roll of that river, so um, we're going to keep moving, head down to Scary's. Last time I was in the one I'm heading to, we got a really nice pile of games, so hopefully it's the same story again. So let's just get down there and see what we can get. Right, so we made it to Scary's, parked right outside the next one, so let's get in there and see what we can get. I almost forgot to bring his with me. got a pile of games in there a lot of them were sort of priced up so a lot of what's in here is fairly close to the money they're all sort of one two three euro games so i just pretty much grabbed anything i don't think i have so we'll add it to the collection did a few fairly highly priced bits and pieces they had a call of duty on the ps4 which i was tempted to buy for tenner because i think it goes for about 20 20 odd euro still but i don't know i think if you just wait a bit longer i'm sure you'll start finding call of duties on the ps4 for a year or two in the charity shops we left them behind but funnily enough out of the whole lot i think the banger is this barbie explorer on the ps1 this is complete the disc is in nice condition and it was only two euro i had a quick look on ebay and it looks like it's going for around 15. so i don't know whether i'm looking at ebay wrong or not but that could be a little sleeper hit that we grab but 20 euro for the whole pile so not too bad that's the sort of the north County Dublin coast shops done so we're gonna hit swords hit a couple of the local ones and then head back home and see how we end up for the day but at least we got a pile to show off so that was a good stop just parked up in swords I'd have a quick look at the games that I grabbed there and rush might have got a bit carried away with the old Barbie Explorer it actually looks like it's selling for like crazy money $50 sold in the States uh, but some other ones here in the UK sold for 8 plus 12 postage and there's another one for 750 plus a tenner postage so Still worth a few bobs, so for two euro we can't go wrong. 
So while I was spending two euro on that, I said if I'm gonna buy and spend two euro on Barbie, I might as well grab Mary Kate and Ashley as well. So I'm gonna have a quick look and see if this one is a similar value type game or if it was a complete waste of two euro, which would be very unusual for this channel. But there it is sold for actually just the disc and the back case sold for five euro plus or ten or postage in the UK and someone spent 13 quid in Australia so you never know we might get something for those but then just very quickly as I said the rest of the games are pretty much on the money for what we paid for them they're all pretty much a euro tier this is the most expensive one of three this WWE 2k14 but I think it's worth about eight or a ten or so not bad on that one the rest of these I just got because I don't have them. I might have one of the mass effects, but the three of them were there, so I just grabbed the three in one go. But a copy of Motorstorm for Euro on the PS3. Black Ops on the PS3. Actually, this was three Euro as well. They had two copies of it there. One was a fiver and one was three, but this one is complete. The disc is grand, so we'll have no bother trading that off. We already have it, so we'll turn that into a quick handy six Euro, I think it trades for. Grabbed a copy of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare for Euro. Another cheapy Battlefield 3 for Euro, but some of these can be a bit of crack and they're fairly cheap, so we won't go wrong. So yeah, the three Mass Effects, Mass Effect 3, Divisional 1 and Mass Effect 2. So I've never played any of the Mass Effect games. They do actually look pretty cool. I do like a sort of a sci-fi shooter sort of thing, so we'll give them a go. Uh, copy of Halo Wars on the 360 for 2 Euro. And then just grab this NHL 07 for two. Don't have any hockey games, so I might give it a go, but I think it trades pretty much for what we paid for it. So if it's shite, we'll just bring it up to CEX. So yeah, nice pile of games there. Spent 20 quid all in. Spent a euro on that other one in Balbriggan. So we're up to how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 games for the day for 21 euro. So we're doing all right. We're going to hit the two in swords now, and then I'm going to hit the two local ones on my way home. See if we can add to the pile. But that last lap was pretty good. That's going to cover us for the day. So fingers crossed we can get a few more and add to it. <laughs> And then she, I eventually got out, which was you buying that, and I went there, I'm lucky I got out of it. And she, I was back to finding nothing in that first stop in Swords. I only really found a few odd bits the last couple of times. We're moving on to the other one that we've had a bit of luck in here lately. And I mentioned in the last video, we got talking to a chap that works in here the last time I was here, and he was telling me sometimes they get sort of old consoles and the old cart based games, but they can't sell them for whatever reason. So they sit in the back for a couple of weeks, then they get moved on to like the central store, or whatever, and they try and sell them online. So hopefully he's in there, he remembers me, he might have something for me, but uh, so look, either way, let's get in there and hopefully there's a few bits on the shelf even. I told you this before, it's not River really in Dublin unless there's a trolley in it. Five euro for Zumba Fitness. <laughs> Jesus Christ. To be fair, they had everything just blanket priced for a fiver. So it's a pity because there was a few okay games in there. A few I would have liked to have had for the collection if they were a euro or two. And them just dances, we probably could have traded off and gotten pretty much most of our money back for today. But it wasn't to be. The man that I was talking to the last time wasn't in there either. So look, we'll pop back another day. Maybe they'll sort the prices out and maybe I'll see that other fella and we'll get something decent. But um so look, it is what it is. We'll move on to the two local ones now before we get home. Hopefully we get a few bits in there and we'll wrap it up then after that.
actually be wrong of me not to take advantage of that. But I'm worried. I'm worried because you're in with me. Well, we didn't exactly go out with a bang there. <laughs> it was interesting to see a couple of Game Boy games in the window, though. I did go back in and ask. They were like five euro each, which is pretty much what they're worth, if they're even worth a fiver. I don't even have a, an OG Game Boy to play them on anyway, so I just left them there for someone else. But loads of boxed Funko Pops in the window. Actually, one of the lads did post in the Discord saying they had boxed Funko Pops in there. I think they were about 7 50 each, most of them. So if you're a Funko collector and you're in the area, that was Vincent's in Greendale so go check it out there's a few decent ones from what i could see in there i just wasn't messing with them for 750 each but yeah i think that's going to be it really um there's nowhere else to go it's like half four now most of the charity shops are closing so did get that one decent pile but nothing absolutely outstanding in this one actually what i might do is i might go back to the house and just do a bit of housekeeping i picked up a few little odds and ends over the last few weeks got a couple of bits in the states so we might show them off i maybe have a look at what was in the last two mystery boxes and then we'll wrap it up back in the house. So we'll head back to the game room and talk to you soon. Right, so back in the game room, you've already seen everything that we picked up today. Not the most successful day game hunting, but we got a few bits to add to the collection. Two or three of them turns out I already have on the shelf behind me, because that's normal for me. But we'll put them in the trade pile. I still have that massive pile to bring up for trade and I must have about 50 games on the shelf in the other room there. So try and get up to CX over the next couple of weeks with that. Probably the next episode will be more of a sort of a look at what's in the trade pile, bring it up, what we get for it, and then maybe get something nice out of it in CX as well. But just very quickly to go through a few bits that have come in over the last few weeks. I got a few bits when I was away in Florida. Uh, I managed to win two of these little Mario's in a claw machine, which was pretty cool. So I was actually thinking about doing, I mentioned earlier on in the car that I am going to do the PSP giveaway in the next video, providing it all, the two of them work pretty well. But what I might actually do I don't know whether to give them away in the next video or maybe keep it for like a little bonus episode before Christmas. Maybe get the PSP and a few little bits the likes of this and just throw them all into a box and maybe do like a Christmas giveaway or something like that. So I don't know. I'll decide what I'm doing with it anyway. Grab this pretty cool Legend of Zelda lanyard. This was like $8 in the shop. Mrs. Retro Games Ireland actually spotted that when I walked right past it. So really cool. We can't turn away anything that's Legend of Zelda related. Uh, what else did I get while I was away? I grabbed this... Nintendo Switch travel case. So I was actually looking for something for bringing my Switch away with me. I normally just sort of throw it in the in the bag and hopefully it doesn't get too scuffed or anything like that. But I thought this was really nice. This was like $19 in Walmart. Another one spotted by Metro Res Mrs. Retro Games or allowed to be walking around Walmart like this, just looking at all the crazy shit that they have. But yeah, I just thought it was really nice. Obviously the Switch slides in there, keeps it well protected. And it looked nice on the shelf. It actually came with two little sort of plastic cartridge holders, which was actually dead handy because I was looking for something that I could keep just the cartridges downstairs with the switch. So that will come in very handy. I'm just trying to find somewhere to put that down. Avalanche. And then in the last video, I mentioned I picked up a little Pokemon guidebook and then I forgot to put the footage of myself pulling it off the shelf. But this is the one here, it was a Euro. It's the Lux Essential Handbook. I've mentioned before, I'm not really into Pokemon. I don't really know much about it, but I just thought that was a nice looking little book. And I'd seen it on a video I don't know, someone on YouTube found it in a recent video I've watched over the last week, so I just put it back in my head that I had it there, so... Yeah, I don't know, for a euro, we got it, I'm gonna leave it on the shelf. And then I also traded in some of my Nintendo club points, or whatever you call them. Yeah, so for anyone that doesn't know, if you have a Nintendo account, you can do these little weekly missions, you can do them on the Switch, and you can do them on the Nintendo website as well. You build up these points, and then you can use them to trade your points in for little novelty bits and pieces on the shop so i don't think there's been anything new on it for a while so i had about a thousand built up so i spent 300 of them on all these mario kart stickers so these are actually really nice i do like an old sticker i have a few of them plastered on the back of the the macbook and stuff like that so yeah i just thought they were cool and then i got this really nice zelda postcard set so it comes with like a little a little holder so you can kind of stack them like that but yeah i just thought that'd be nice for the for the Zelda Shrine, just you can kind of rotate which ones are sitting on the display stand and stuff. So some nice ones in there. And then outside of that, I suppose it's just the two mystery boxes. I just never got around to filming myself opening these. I normally put one on uh, TikTok, 
they're really popular over there. Like some of the views that come in for some of the videos are crazy. So I might still just do a quick separate one later. So I'm sorry if you get double content if you watch me on TikTok as well. But this was the I'm gonna say this was the September box. I have two boxes here anyway, so this is one of the boxes. But the first one out of this one was Kickle Cubicle on the NES. Slowly starting to get a few NES games in thanks to this service. This is the great thing about it because stuff like this I would never find out in the wild. It's actually funny that earlier on I seen those two Game Boy games. That's probably the first time I've ever seen, well, barely like DS, but the first time I've ever seen like a proper retro cart based game in a charity shop. So nice to know that it is out there and it does turn up from time to time. We also got Blast Cars on the N64. Alien Tree on the SNES. So this is a cool little mix bunch, this one. And then to round that box off game-wise, we got a complete copy of Command and Conquer on the Saturn. So another one for the ever-growing Saturn collection, which is pretty sweet. And then of course, this month's magazine was a copy of Edge. This is from August 1999, so this is like a proper old school magazine so i have a few of them built up on the shelf now i haven't really had a chance to go through many of them so i must pull them down someday and actually have a flick through them because i do enjoy going through the old magazines and then october's box so what's in this one so another nest game in this one a copy of california games so that's pretty sweet I'm just carefully making the pile here again then a mega drive game we have psycho pinball I do actually like a pinball game, so I'm looking forward to popping this in and having a go with it. Again, complete. I think pretty much everything that I've gotten in these subscription boxes has come complete with a manual and all, so never lets me down. This Australian Rules Football on the C64. Shout out Salt and Pepper Gaming. And then, is this the last game wise as well? Yeah, a really nice complete copy of The Jungle Book on the SNES. So this is actually a really nice box. So we'll get this straight into a box protector because as I mentioned before, box protectors make everything look 10 times nicer. So when something is already nice, it makes it look really nice on the shelf. So yeah, that's it. Really good manual. And the perfect label on the cart as well. So that's a really nice one to add to the collection. I'll fix that up later and carefully put it back down here. And then the magazine in this month's box was a copy of Old Retro Gamer. This one here so again another one to add to the little pile of magazines that we need to catch up on and actually read and have a flick through yes yeah, so i think that pretty much covers everything that's come in over the last few weeks thanks for watching the video again thanks for sticking around and keep an eye out for the next video too for that giveaway you won't want to miss that one so thanks for checking it out and we'll see you again soon cheers